BYU-Idaho, brothers and sisters, is a temple of learning. Now, I have tried to use that phrase carefully so as to not confuse the house of the Lord with a temple of learning. But there are important patterns and parallels between the house of the Lord and these temples of learning. Remembering that temples of learning refers specifically to the institutions of higher education sponsored by and affiliated with the church. In both the house of the Lord and in the temples of learning, a standard of worthiness must be met in order to enter and to learn what is being taught. For a member of the church who desires a temple recommend and for a student who wishes to enter into one of the temples of learning, there is a standard of worthiness. Interestingly, in both the Holy Temple and in temples of learning, a significant personal commitment is linked to the learning process. Consider, brothers and sisters, that in the house of the Lord we come under covenant and bind ourselves to act in all holiness. In a similar way, students who are admitted to study and learn in the temples of learning make a commitment to keep the commandments of God and to abide by the university honor and dress codes. Thus, covenants and commitments expand our education, both in the house of the Lord and in the church's temples of learning. In both the house of the Lord and in a temple of learning, as a result of what we experience and what we learn and what we feel, we then strive to heed a higher standard. That is the outcome and the result of what we learn. Consequently, we prepare a little harder, we dress a little nicer, we act a little better, and we think more deeply about things that really matter.